Okay, so this is uh, Josephine. Um, solid location, um, really close to Little Five Points. Uh, this is looking down one side of the road. You can see there's a nice house next door, but next to it is uh, condemned with boards. And then here is the front of the house. Um, cute curb appeal. Um, the gutters look like they may be, um, they may need a little uh, attention, but overall not bad. Cute white fence. Looks like they freshly painted. Um, I was just noticing as I drove up, you've got some um, rotting over here, which they've just kind of painted over. Um, and same with under here. And this is the garage, which is kind of cool to have a garage in this area because it's very rare. Um, it has a padlock on it, so you can't see inside um, with the camera, but good um, one car garage. Got a cracked window here. Um, the outside looks fairly decent. There's, you know, some mechanical damage. This one's been taken on some water, you can see. Um, sorry for the shaky video. You can see that. Um, I'm sure you'll probably find some additional areas where they've just painted over and not really um, taken the time to replace the ones that need to be replaced. This is pretty rotted, soft. There's lots of water damage there. So I'm guessing this outside part is probably going to need some attention in some places. Um, the soffit, soffits look like they were maybe just painted over. May have some issues in some of those areas as well. But that's just wood to replace as long as there's nothing majorly lurking below. So, coming up to the front of the home, front porch, um, neighbor's house, really cute. Looking back down that way, um, they've got the windows, window cleaners here right now, so. Um, this is your entry to the back where your um, AC unit is. And coming up to the front, this siding looks good. That other side over there is kind of rough. So you walk into the living room. They've redone the fireplace, the gas fireplace. And nice size windows, new windows, new fan. The hardwoods look really great. Um, place for an entry hallway table. And so, if you go to the right, this is the laundry closet slash room. There's a light in there. So, just, you know, enough room for a washer and dryer with a shelf. And then you have the bathroom, powder room, which looks out over to the garage. So you have your bearings. Um, fairly decent, you know, they did granite countertops, got the kind of the marble look, it's not marble, but, um, just tile, and they replaced the wind, or the, um, mirror and lighting. Then, they have the nest. Coming into the kitchen, you have a pantry, and closet space. So it's the under, under the stairs closet. So they made good use of that. Then you have your kitchen. So this was what I was talking about with the stove being very oddly placed. So they've put it over in the corner and they were smart to pick this because it, it allows you to open it. But when you're cooking, there's very little space between here, so you're kind of crammed into this corner. Not a 
huge deal, I guess. Um, this had to be a, you know, they had to glue that shut because you can't um, get it out because of the stove. But it's gas, um, five burner, which is nice. Updated microwave, updated cabinets, LG dishwasher. And then you have island cabinets and drawers. Um, these are like the fake ones. And it leads out onto your back deck which backs up to the main road. So that's to Cab Avenue over there. Um, you know, I think it's a fairly decent sized backyard. It could use a little love. It's mostly just weeds and pine straw. I don't know how much you could get to grow under that uh, live oak, but maybe some hardscape back here would be really good. Um, I'm noticing there's no gutters on the home, and I'm wondering, oh, there's gutters on this side, but not on that side over there. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, sorry. Uh, so anyway, um, some mechanical damage out here as well to the siding. Um, the deck is new. So um, looks like it needs to be sealed. All right, so coming back into the kitchen. There is a room downstairs. They have a um, nice paneling. They've updated the lighting fixtures. So you have a nice, decent sized little um, dining room here. And then this is a office, um, I guess. Uh, that's how they have it staged, but it does have a closet. So can be considered a bedroom. There's your closet. And coming back, uh, there was something I noticed on the ceiling where they, I guess, took the light out, but it's a very poor patch job. And then coming this way, go upstairs. Again, they've done a really good job on the wood floors. So the first room on the right. So here is the closet for this room. Very large closet actually. And they have a system built in. So nice size closet. Fairly decent sized room. Really beautiful. Um, wood floors. They have this little alcove, which is kind of cool. Um, so a little chair or where your TV could go or a desk. And then this is the master bath. Turn off the lights. So kind of an odd placement for the toilet, but they've used that little alcove to put a shelf. Kind of odd. Um, I noticed, I don't know if you can see it, I'm not sure if that's water damage or just where they didn't paint. I'm not really sure. Just wanted to point it out. And then here's your master bath. Double vanity. They've done uh, the pebble pouring in the shower. And this cool soap tub. Okay. And then the other side is your second upstairs bathroom, I mean a uh, bedroom. So it has the tray ceilings as well. Both of these up here are en suites. So um, nice deep closet, attic access. I'm guessing that's where the furnace will be. And then here's your second bathroom. So also double vanities. This bathroom looks out over the garage, so we're essentially over the powder room from downstairs. And a glass shower, which uh, kind of mirrors the master shower with the pebble floor.